Hey guys, welcome to step four. Now today I am gonna blow the scope wide open. I'm gonna show you and tell you how you can now play hundreds of tunes on the harmonica by some of your most favorite artists. And I'm gonna introduce two new skills, improvisation and ear training. And those things go great together and they enable you to make up your own music and that's going to set you up for playing blues and jazz and country and all the other stuff that's coming down the road in the course. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, as you can see, I'm pretty excited today because I get to introduce freedom. <laughs> Thus far in the course, I've kept you on a pretty tight road. I've needed you to get those clean single notes. I've needed you to just get used to moving around with a simple tune and the diatonic major scale. But now that you have those things, the scope really is just blown wide open, like I say. So those skills alone that you now have are enough for you to play hundreds of tunes. Those skills and the knowledge that you now have was good enough for people like Bob Dylan, Neil Young, um, also good enough for John Lennon. I mean, these are some of the best songwriters we know, and they use the knowledge that you have. Same knowledge. Okay, yes, they're talented musicians. I grant them that, but they weren't doing anything different on the harmonica, okay, than that you can do right now. So as we speak, you can Google and find hundreds of tabs by these artists and others that use the first position major scale. And you should be doing that, going out there, finding those tunes and enjoying them. And at the same time, here at the website, I have play along videos, jam track videos, call and response videos and tunes. So many resources that are going to help you to get comfortable with doing that and also are just fun to play along with. So right now, you really are free to explore and play a lot of music and get a lot of enjoyment out of the harmonica. And I really recommend you do that. So as the course continues and I introduce more skills, like bending in the next step and other things down the road, you'll need to practice those like anything. But while you are practicing them, keep coming back and just playing music having fun, playing those tunes by your art, favorite artists, playing along with one of my play along videos and those kind of things. All right, so that's the first thing to get excited about really, is that we are happening on the harmonica already. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about a new skill called improvisation. Okay, all through the course, you've seen me do little blasts on the harmonica like I just did. Now, what am I doing? I'm improvising these. I didn't read them off a piece of paper. I didn't memorize them before. Basically, I made them up. And that's what I want you to start doing. And you might be thinking, how? Well, you can. You've got a scale, your diatonic major scale. You know that you can't really go wrong on the harmonica because of the way it was designed, unless you accidentally bend or are playing too hard. Remember, play nice and soft, be easy, and you'll sound sweet. So basically, you again, have all the knowledge to start improvising. And I've made that easy by, on the site here, on the lesson page, there's three jam tracks in the key of C major. So any note you play on the harmonica, on your C major harmonica is gonna work over those tunes. So basically you can start making up melodies and uh, write your own hits. <laughs> Maybe, you never know, just uh, give me credit if you use my jam track. <laughs> okay, but seriously, that's true. And if you want a place to start, this is what I recommend, okay? I recommend you start with the major scale and just play it up and down. You'll get used to how that sounds, okay? This is a part of the ear training thing I'm gonna talk about more in a second. But just play the scale up and down. You get used to how that sounds and what sounds good. Then you might start to play notes longer or leave a little pause or change the rhythm a little bit. 
And then what you're doing is creating and expressing yourself in the way that sounds good to you. And of course, the more you do this, the better you get at it. And you're going to really enjoy yourself so much more on the harmonica. It really opens up more stuff like the blues. We use a lot of improvisation. Country, you, we use a lot of improvisation. Excuse me. So all those other musics coming down the road in the course, we use improvisation a lot. And so let's get started in it. Have fun with it now. And if you want to know, just again, like a further little thing that'll help you some more, is if you don't know how the timing should go, just go with the beat of the tune. So if it's like a tempo like one, two, three, four, you can start on the beat, play one note every beat, and that'll get you started, and from there you can explore. Okay, now like I said, by playing the scale, we're getting used to what the notes sound like, and that's called ear training. So when we train our ears, or the concept of ear training, let me just talk about that quickly, is basically so that you know what the notes are gonna sound like before you play them. So this is different, again, from like reading a note off the piece of paper and knowing that should sound good to then hearing a note in your head and wanting to play that and finding it on the harmonica. So ear training really helps you to get to know the harmonica and where the right notes are. It also helps with if you have ideas, you can then put them into the harmonica straight away. So I have a whole section of the site dedicated to ear training with call and response uh, videos and I suggest you really get into that too. So do your improvisation here, go explore the ear training, come back, you'll see how you've improved and overall you're really just going to be making music and starting to explore your own creativity. All right, so that's two, three, four, I've lost track, uh, really cool exciting things we can now do on the harmonica. I'll leave you to get into that and then I'll see you next week with bending where we're going to start a new technique that opens up even more. All right, enjoy guys and bye for now.